Hello all, my name is Dr. Christopher Alexander, the video games professor, welcoming you to Getting Started with Unreal Engine, Educator's Edition. The goal here is to ease you into understanding the core principles behind one of the most engaging real-time 3D creation tools of all time, Unreal Engine. Creativity is changing. Well, creativity has changed. Humans, now more than ever, have the ability to bring ideas to fruition quicker and more accurately than any other time in human history. In fact, there's not a single area of expertise on this planet that doesn't connect in some way to creativity. Think about it. In order to build, you must create. And in order to create, you must build. In educational research, we call this research creation. In design and development, we call it iteration. But for the average human, it's just making stuff. And it is in the making of stuff where the magic happens. This is where you come in. Your job as an educator is to show humans the core foundations of making stuff. Educators are more important now than ever because learning how to structure ideas isn't easy. But structure is how we help the world make sense and get big ideas off the ground. Now, what if I told you that one of the biggest career opportunities available to students right now is being driven by game technology? What if I also told you that we are still at the beginning of this, which means that what we teach students now could set them up for big things in the future. Kind of like teaching them to code before coding became one of the main ways we shape our world. So why game tech? Because the same tools used to make games are one of the best ways to visualize ideas. And since game engines were designed for interactivity, they are an incredible way to draw people in. That obviously makes sense in a game context where players are running around trying to accomplish tasks and earn achievements. Think about what happens when that gets shifted to other industries. Did you know architects are using this technology to build digital cities? Not only to learn more about how a design will work, but how different decisions affect everything around it. TV productions are blending reality and computer graphics on site, creating beautiful works of art like The Mandalorian and changing the way stories are created in the process. Or take car manufacturers. They're designing cars with VR so they can make nuanced decisions about everything from the materials they use to how it feels to sit in the seats. All this with the same technology, real-time technology. So is it any wonder that jobs requiring interactive 3D skills are growing 601% faster than the job market overall and are paying people 57% more than the average salary? Of course not. When something works, the world runs to it. So what can we do with that? In this series, I'm gonna show you how you can open up this opportunity for your students, even if you have no design history or technical acumen to speak of. The truth is, the students are the drivers here. You'll be shocked about how fast they pick this up. We are merely facilitators, leading them in the right direction as they move from player to creator. And that's ultimately what this is about, helping them go from people that consume content into a person that can make it. As we've already learned, the tools are the same wherever they take them. So whether that's architecture, films, fashion, music, or even surgical training, if you set them up now, you're giving them access to a lot more down the road. In the next videos, we'll start exploring how you get there, from how to think about Unreal Engine to the pre-made lesson plans you can start using right away. Let's go!